Hi guys, this is Doc D from Doc D Skateboard. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the Dr. E TP wheels. Um, you should have printed out uh, the inner and the outer hub. This should have a label saying uh, inner V1 as you can see for the inner. Uh, the outer, this is the larger version so it's going to say outer 70 V1. All right. So, so grab one of your TPU tires that you should have printed out. Uh, this has a logo on the outside and this is the inside all right so you're gonna stick the inner in here now before you stick it in there go ahead and insert uh, you can go ahead and insert um, any kind of standard 608 bearings and they should be snug fit now I printed this out in ABS um, 100.5 percent laterally bigger because of the um, warping if you print this out in Petchy, you can just print it straight in 100%, and they should be snug fit, All right? Now, if you have a seam or something, if you did a seam on one side and it doesn't fit, um, just reprint it using random seams, and this is designed to fit um, snug, just like that. It should just fit in. You shouldn't. You may have to force it just a little bit, uh, but you don't. You shouldn't have to force it enough uh, more than a little bit of force. All right? So go ahead and put your bearings in. Now you can also use um bearings that have spacers built in like the jehu i got here and that will just fit in right there all right that way you don't need spacers you can use either or but for this example i'm going to go ahead and show you with regular 608 bearings fit it in there like that and also on the other side um 608 bearings like that all right should be snug fit you're gonna go ahead and insert the inner on the flat side of the tire, not the one with the logo, all right? This is where uh, your your ABEC hubs are gonna fit. And you can see this is a standard ABEC hub from Ohmboard. Here's a cloud wheel, uh, I wonder, uh, hubs here. Before you put it on, do a test. And they should be snug fit, like just like that. If you have a standard of cloud wheel, it should fit just like that, snap in all the way, okay? Now, let's go ahead and put it together. You're going to go ahead and put it into the TPU tire. And it's a very tight fit, but not so tight where you can't push it in. So you should be able to push in. It's a little tight. And it's designed that way uh, with tight tolerances. And you may have to push it in like that. Make sure it's flat sitting on there. If you are using a spacer, go ahead and insert a spacer and try to align the holes before you put it in. So I'm going to go ahead and try to align the holes. You can change it a little bit later, but without moving anything, go ahead and push down all the way until it's sitting flat. And you can see the spacer sitting in there nicely. You can see I did the holes nicely. You can grab an Allen wrench. I'll use a four millimeter here and I'm going to go ahead and Try to make it through the hole. There we go. Make it through and try to straighten out and try to make sure make sure you can slide it through on all the holes. Once that's done, you're gonna need an M5 nylon nuts. This is designed for nylon nut. Um, you're gonna put it on the outer hub like this, and it will it will just sort of drop in there, just like that. Uh, you can use a 45 millimeter uh, M5 screw and up to, you can use up to uh, 65 M5 screw. I recommend about 50 is ideal. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the other side right here. All right. And it should fit snug like that. And go ahead and use your Allen wrench and try to try to go slow about it and it should tighten and boom that's tightened there and you can see it's actually i would actually recommend the 50 millimeter it's just barely in there um but 40 45 is fine so do that for all the six holes now make sure the nut is sitting down when you're screwing in and i don't recommend using a, a i recommend you doing it manually because sometimes with power tools um, you can strip it, but if you manually do it, you should be fine to go. Okay, once done, go ahead and tighten, alternate diagonally, 
You don't have to over tighten it. Because these are using M5 nuts and screws, of, they're very, very strong. Um, also, I'm using ABS. These will never break apart, right? I'll, and so long as you print it, the TPU well. Check that the layer adhesion in the perimeters here are, um, are good, like mine here, right? Is very good. And check the layer adhesion uh, over here. Also go ahead and check. This wheel is nearly perfect in terms of how high I put in it, all right? So you should have six screws like this on the inner side. It should say uh, Dr. E inner V1. And then on the outside, it should say Dr. E outer 70 V1, all right? Uh, if you're using other wheels, it's gonna be outer uh, whatever number and V the version number, all right? And it should be facing out. The reason why we put the nuts on the outside uh, is so we can see if the nuts get loose, we can see it uh, right away. All right, now that's ready to go. That's how you put a Dr. East TPU wheel together. Um, that This thing is solid as a rock, yet it's got the flex uh, to give you that perfect ride that you've never imagined before. I mean, I love these wheels. These wheels are just awesome, all right?